Welcome back to What's New. It's hard to believe, but breakdancing or breaking that culture itself uh, began 50 years ago this year. So fast forward to today, and now the art form is headed to the Olympics. It's going to be the newest Olympic sport. That's right. Breaking will be part of the Paris 2024 Summer Games. So our very own wannabe Olympian, we'll put it that way, Mike Polk <laughs> Jr., learned more about the history and the skills from one of Cleveland's top b-boys. When one hears the word breakdancing, it might evoke memories of a certain era, that being the late 70s and early 80s, when breaking culture caught fire and swept the nation, infiltrating our movies, music, fashion, and art, where it thrived for just a brief period and then went away forever, right? Nope, it's still thriving. It's actually an Olympic sport now. The cool kids just kept doing it without us. Fortunately, I was able to speak with the authority on the subject in the greater Cleveland area. My name is Dason Lee, uh, AKA Busy Brooks of the Mighty Zulu Kings. Home boys, home girls, the New York City Breaker. Can you give me a little bit of the history of breaking? It's a dance that started like in New York back in the late 70s, early 80s. I'm not sure if you know, but breaking is like one of the key components of hip hop culture. The DJ would notice that all the people would go crazy at a very specific part of the song, which is called a break. And they, they say, you know what? I'm gonna bring another turntable and I'm gonna try to loop that sound so that it can last longer, making people kind of just dance crazier and hype, you know what I'm saying? And the, the dance kind of came from that energy. Jason has spent the last two decades honing his craft, building his brand, spinning his spins, and doing stuff like this. And now he serves as coach and mentor to the celebrated and exceedingly boisterous Cleveland Cavaliers Scream Team. Now the Scream Team, for anybody who might not be aware, would you describe what they are? They would say the NBA's number one hip hop dance team. Make some noise for the Scream Team! He got his start as a young member of the squad. I started breaking when I was 14, and by the time I was 17, I was traveling around the world competing and teaching, performing. Um, I was on the Scream team for many years. I opened a dance studio as well, and it's been my life for almost 21 years. Fast forward decades later, and this incredible sport is finally getting recognized on the official world stage. In the breaking world, you know, you have the people that are artists who break because they just feel free and they want to be able to get down. And then you have this whole other aspect, which is like the competitive world of breaking. The Olympics is uh, finally an opportunity for people to see who truly is the best in the world. There were still a few things that I needed to clear up. Your favorite song to break to? It's Just Begun by the Jimmy Castor Bunch. Let's hear seven seconds of it. That's as much as we can legally play. <laughs> How do you pass up Herbie Hancock's rocket? Hey, that's also nice. But... Let's hear seven seconds of that. I mean, that's a classic, right? I mean, a true classic would be James Brown's Give, uh, give It Up or Turn Loose. Let's hear seven oh, yeah, seconds of that. Let's hear seven seconds of that. Baby, give it up, turn it loose. No more, no more. Okay, we're good. Those are good tunes. That's, that's 21 seconds of you fire. Can... I even had the opportunity to watch the master work in person. This is Mike Polk popping and locking for three news. <laughs> well, he got his, he nailed the ending, right? He landed Stuck it. Stuck the landing. Uh, I was wanting more from Mike dancing. I, I really, I, I think we overhyped it a little bit. Yeah, uh, but we did see a couple seconds of it in there. Yeah, and I mean, let's face it, we're not as young as we used to be. I'm trying so to see if for, he's out in the newsroom. I saw him in the newsroom a little while ago. I think he might be him. practicing right now. Yeah, well, By the way, when Dason is not coaching the Scream team, he's also owner of the City Breaks Barber Shops, and he just opened a new cafe in Cleveland's Clark Fulton neighborhood. In fact, our Kiara Cotton is going to check that out later this week. She's going to give us a first look. Cool. So he's, uh, he's doing well, and I'm anxious to see how this Olympic breakdancing thing goes. I think they should do, like, qualifying rounds or something here at the Rock Hall. Yeah, like I'd be all for that. We have this beautiful, you know, the convention center right next to it. Right. Kind of brings it all together. Yeah. I hope some of our dancers from the Cavs team there goes to the, go to the Olympics. That That'd would be, be fun. sweet, right? That would be really cool. Local Olympians are always cool.